So yeah, we're just biking along, enjoying ourselves in Beijing. And what do we have here? That's Forbidden Palace. I reckon that's kind of cool. Ooh, ooh, pedestrians. This, this is the bike lane. There's Chairman Square. Kind of low on tanks today, high on tourists. That's what reform in China is all about. Grand Hall of the People. Oh. And coming around the trees here, we have another huge communist people. Um, countdown to the Olympics inside there is um, the preserved pickled corpse of Mao Zedong. Coming up closer, we can see Forbidden City. Not really allowed to bike through there. And close up of Chairman Square. And as we can see here, the invasion of the tour buses. Oh, gee, that's a lot of tour buses. Two of us are not tanks. I think that's the new Communist Party also. Now, unfortunately, yeah, we've got to cross this road, which is sort of eight lanes in each direction. Uh, maybe it's only five lanes in each direction. Still, no idea how to cross it. Let's go and see what these guys are doing here. Maybe they can help me. Yep, this seems to be the way to cross the road. I think it's safety in numbers. Probably safety with both hands on the handlebars handle as well. But hey, you guys want to see this, don't you? Okay, I think I may have cars on my tail. So I'll just overtake this lady here. And we're cruising along the side of Forbidden Palace. And here we come up to one of the gates of the Forbidden Palace. I think we're not allowed to go in here. Oh, no entry for a visitor is the sign. And actually remarkably good English. So, let's just skip along here. Here is part of the moat. Now, I'm not sure if it's filled with crocodiles, but let's just say for the record it is, to um, prevent people getting into the Forbidden City. As you can see, there's a big thing. Okay. One of the watchtowers. Quite scenic. Okay. I'm um, watching out for the tourists. Wow. More moat. I may have to get off this road because people are giving me the eye for being on my bike. You can see the moat just keeps on going. Maybe they don't need crocodiles this day because it's just so goddamn polluted. Whoa, a bit too close. Okay, we're entering the courtyard outside the Forbidden City. To our right, we can see the very impressive Meridian Gate. Now, I went in there yesterday and you're not allowed to bike in there, so you're just going to have to see this from the outside. Now, another form of transport in Beijing. Oh, I'm just hitting someone. Yeah, so, quite impressive. Forbidden telephone booth. Okay, and leaving the forbidden city, forbidden city, to a park. Fortunately, the traffic seems to have stopped. Seems to have stopped, guys. It's stopped. Okay, we're foot pathing it. Okay, I probably risk being arrested by the secret police here for cycling on the footpath.
But, um, you know what, these days I'm probably more afraid of the traffic in Beijing than the secret police. No offense to the secret police, uh, traffic's just kind of dicey. So we're now going to... Oh, Oh, there's a park, you might be able to read it there. Um, probably should get back on the road. Oh, like that. This old guy here is riding his rickshaw. Hello, oh, yeah. Actually, just a bit of an amendum. The traffic here isn't really that dicey. Um, well, there's no cycle lanes here, but pretty much the road is my cycle lanes and cars are on it. And well, at risk. Well, that was a bit close. Um, yeah, yeah, much, much better than um, Indonesia. Okay. So here yeah, we have cycle lane. Okay, get off my cycle lane, dude. So yeah, cycle lanes pretty much everywhere. It's great. Makes it almost safe enough to ride around just using one hand. <laughs> almost. And now for a peaceful pill beside a lake. Oh. Sorry about that. Pedestrians. So quite the happening bar scene along here at night. Chinese checkers. And now we're coming in to the Lama Temple and I'll probably have to get off my bike at some point. It's always tricky there. It's a ticketing office. Yeah, I don't think they'll take kindly of me like rolling on in there on my bike. Plus, I'd probably get stuck. Okay. Whoa. This looks like me. Um, and this is the last remaining segment of the Beijing City Wall. You can see through the trees there. Fortunately, I'm biking on paveway, although there are cycle lanes throughout the city. Um, yeah. You can see more closely there, over the city wall, or a bit of a little turn there. And um, I might just stop it there before I die. This just isn't fair. Here's me pedaling away. Here's this old guy just cruising on electric power. Okay, a bit busy for filming. So we're kind of veering out of the traditional parts of Beijing right now. As you see, the Forbidden City didn't have buildings that high. And we're on our way to the Olympics. A bit early, but um, I figure it's worth a show. There are the buildings for the people building the Olympic Games. Now, I'm not sure if these are the buildings, the people gonna, who are going to be competing, or just for anyone who can afford it. But they look substantially nicer than those ones, and I bet they cost a whole lot more money. Dun 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 dun